yeah, we pulled up in here at the right time. They are just about finishing up washing this truck. We're gonna wash our trailer out and prepare to load. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of thinking about this Popeyes over here. I've just, I, I tell you, I'm over here in Port Allen, Louisiana, and I'm really like, I'm really trying not to eat nothing today, so I can. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of want to start back to uh, maybe doing some dieting and uh, trying to lose a little bit of weight because you know the last couple months I probably put on about 10 pounds but I'm bad wanting some Popeyes but oh uh, I had a uh, I had a guy comment you know he seen that I was in Port Allen a pretty good bit and he was telling me about this uh, barbecue place here in Port Allen and I really want to try and uh, not eat and eat here tonight once I come back through here but it's called Kuyans Kuyans uh, that's what them Cajun people uh, uh, I guess like food you know what's up food you know and that's uh, I think that's kind of what Cajun uh, what Kuyan is in Cajun uh, which probably translates somewhere in the French but but yeah, yeah, this barbecue place called Kuyan. So I got a friend of mine that lives, uh, he lives in the area here and I called him all ago. I said, hey, what you think about this Kuyan over here? He's like, you got to go get it. Get some of their, uh, get some of their, uh, they've got some all purpose seasoning. Uh, he said it puts Tony Satry's to shame. So we're gonna try to get over here, eat this barbecue tonight and get some of that seasoning because it sounds like it's fire. So I'm gonna get some of it and uh, but right now we're gonna get washed out and go load, hopefully. All right, let's get this done. Looks like you're just finishing up here and I am, I'm ready to get them on it and get this done.
All right, so we still haven't got fuel here at Port Allen. Did what we said we was going to do. We're going over here to Kuyans. Kuyans. Come well. Uh, they come well recommended. Uh, got a customer, or customer, a uh, viewer, viewer, viewer said, hey, come try this place out. Lives right down the road from here. And I got a buddy of mine lives on the other side of Baton Rouge. He said, this place is it. So we're going to go in here and try some brisket. How about that? Shady Lawn Truck Stop here this morning. Exit 6, 65 in Tennessee. Home of the Big Chicken. Y'all seen the Big Chicken the other day. Oh, uh, we just stopped in here. Uh, kind of just take a break, get some coffee. Uh, I'm, we trucked it up last night, got up here to the state line, and uh, we went for a little detour this morning, and we're pulling in here to get us a little coffee. I did not know this the other day. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, the roadies chain. I really don't know what the roadies is, uh, but like they have lots of, uh, not lots, but like uh, Arkansas, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, uh, and I guess they're getting over here into Tennessee, these roadies, and, and even down in, in uh, South Louisiana, they're getting pretty common. But, Anyway, man, we stopped last night at the Kuyans. Y'all seen that? Man, I loved that Kuyans. It was pretty good. It wasn't as good as the brisket I make at home, but no, I'm just telling you. It was good. It was good. I got some of their seasoning. Uh, man, I appreciate uh, I appreciate everybody that uh, said that. Uh, Gavin Penny? Penny uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh watcher there at Port Allen told me about it. My friend over there lives over there uh, just the other side of Baton Rouge. He lives over close to Denham Springs. He's like, yeah, that, that's legit. And it was. He told My buddy told me, he said, make sure you get the dry rub, make sure you get the seasoning and the Cajun seasoning they got. And I, I did. And uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably gonna be, uh, that's probably gonna be a regular stop if I've got time. And I really didn't have time last night, but I did it anyway. Oh, uh, probably could have made it a little bit further last night i know the scale house here on 65 in, in uh, tennessee it was closed and i kept watching trucker path and, and nobody updated it and i'm like i don't know about all this 
because it was showing like those guys go to work at different times like they'll come to work at like 2 30 in the morning or or on trucker path it'll show open at that like four o'clock in the morning sometime 2 30 in the morning and then 6 30 you know and, and like it'll show closed all up until then and i was like man i don't trust it i'm gonna go to bed so anyway i won't get into all the details why that that takes place but oh um, man i got fuel at home the other day fuel keeps going up it was uh oh man y'all missed that there mind he homeboy was running i'm talking about he got his track suit on and his high vis t-shirt on and he was running but uh he lost motivation somehow i don't know what if he was trying to make it to the bathroom and then it all came out and yeah, and there wasn't no reason to run no more. Okay, so I got fuel the other day at home. It was three ninety five, and I got to looking at my trip, you know, and I'm thinking about the whole time, you know, if you've seen my videos before, you know, I, I plan my trips around uh, scale houses, drive axle weight, uh, fuel price, and, and uh, where I can get a shower sometimes. So usually when i go this way I, I got my deal where I, I fill up somewhere in south louisiana wherever it's cheapest and then i fill up in franklin kentucky and i didn't have enough fuel to i was first i was going to get enough fuel to make it to franklin kentucky i was going to fill up at home and i got to look and i'm like eh, it's it's going to put me getting fuel somewhere in between and that's going to mess me up because I get fuel in Franklin, Kentucky because it lets me go all the way up north and then all the way back down south to get back so I don't have to pay some of that higher fuel price up there. Uh, a couple times, uh, you know, wind's been bad and had to go out of route or, you know, get messed up and had to go to different places to get the DDG. And so I burnt more fuel and that put me having to get fuel and a little bit of fuel in Illinois or whatever. So. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's even went up. I was going to show y'all. It went up last night, so that's down. Uh, I filled up at Port Allen last night, and it uh, it was 380, I think. I think it was 385, so oh, uh, this is kind of my route up through here so y'all can see what kind of fuel prices we've been dealing with here. And this went up. Oh, there. This went up. 10 cents since yesterday here uh, at uh, at Coleman and uh, so we're up here I don't know we don't have a mud flap up here at uh, okay so that's where I'm getting fuel at next so I got to get enough fuel because it's uh, as you go up the further you go the higher it gets and then i'll have to come back down through here and it looks like i don't know i may get fuel here at at that uh road ranger there at marshall illinois on the way back down because illinois has a higher fuel tax credit and uh, if you don't buy some fuel in illinois and you run a lot of illinois they're gonna tear your butt up on ifta so i may stop there tomorrow fuel up take a shower that may be what i do there because it's high all the way down through here probably gonna be high all the way back home until i get uh back down here to steel missouri blival somewhere yep yep it looks like my best bet is to fill up there and then uh and then next week i'll get ready and i'll fill up at home before I leave and then I'll do just like I did this top it off down in Louisiana and then I can start my cycle of getting fuel so anyway I'm gonna get out and get some coffee I'm letting my GoPro charge because if there's anything that is reliable about a GoPro it's the fact that the battery's always dead so we're charging the GoPro and uh, we're fixing to drive up through Nashville Tennessee we're gonna try to get up through Nashville at a good time and uh, also try to I don't know, I really don't know how I'm going to plan my shower and, and all that tonight. Uh, if I'm going to hang south of Louisville and let the traffic clear and then once the traffic starts getting light in Louisville, go up through Louisville and uh, 
and then through Cincinnati, or if I'm going to try and, and hammer down and like get to Washington Courthouse and get a good parking spot and get a shower there and try and beat Louisville and uh, Louisville and Cincinnati traffic. So I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to play it by ear right now and see how it goes. But uh, I ain't doing nothing but wasting time right now. So let me get this coffee and get going. See y'all in a bit. All right. Until next time, my old friend. We'll see you later. So this is the end of a uh, uh, seven, probably seven mile backup, all because some guy did not want to pull over on the shoulder when his truck was broke down. Broke down big truck on the shoulder, or, or on, in the right lane. And I've been seeing this a lot here lately, guys just breaking down and, and like just not getting on the shoulder. I had a guy a couple weeks ago run out of air I mean, like, run completely out of air, and had his truck, had his trailer out in the in the right lane, and the truck on the shoulder. So I don't know what is wrong with people, but man, if your truck is broke down or breaking down, get the shoulder. I mean, like, it's already broke down. It's probably going slow anyway. You probably need to and, and to get off on the shoulder. But what killed me is the guy had just went past a freaking exit. And that is just ultimate stupidity to me. But anyway, there was a truck stop at that exit and everything. So, all right. Uh, yeah, he was actually right there at the exit ramp. He had just went by the exit ramp. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know what goes through driver's heads anymore. I know that, you know, it just seems like drivers in general but truck drivers especially just get stupider and stupider. It just blows my mind. 